So for anybody who's wondering, this is a portable power pack and I'll be doing a video on this in the near future, but basically it's a rechargeable power pack that will provide you some electricity for lights or charging, you know, a phone or a laptop, or if you have a drone, for example, you need to charge the battery pack for the drone or, or something like that. But I will be doing a video on this in the very near future. For today, we're gonna get set up working in this corner to try to get it ready for a stove. foot roll it was a 50 square foot roll it was a 40 foot roll so that meant that I just put enough in so that I can get the the bottom heat shield around the stove so we can piece those top two pieces in later and as a matter of fact I want to do the center one later anyway because that's where the chimney's going through so probably would have to tear that insulation back out anyway so putting in this corner and then cutting this one and this one at a 45 degree angle but I actually think I might leave it just like this I know somebody out there is probably gonna tell me that that's not the right way to do it but I guess my response to that would be I'm living my American dream not yours so uh, I like it. I think that red's going to look sharp. And all that lumber that I cut for the floor will be able to go right around this. And then I'll trim it up with a, you know, a two inch, two inch piece all the way around the outside that'll fit right up to the blocks and hold them in place real good. Now, as you can see, I just sat them there. I didn't glue them. I didn't put down any fancy, you know, mortar or you know, glue them together or anything underneath that. It's just not necessary. In not too much time, I've got to take everything out of here to do this floor. Well, I can measure up the height of my chimney now, but I want your opinion. All you guys watching this video, should I put this in at a 45 degree angle, which would have the stove this way, or should I put it in at a 90 degree angle that has the stove this way? All right, pros and cons to each. If I go the way it's sitting right now, it's a straight run up 
and out that wall with my chimney. If I turn it at a 45 degree angle, in order to hit that same hole, I have to bring it out quite a bit into the center of the room, or I have to do some sort of a angle on my chimney, which I don't really wanna do. Personally, I would prefer it to be at a 45 degree angle facing into the room. I just don't know if that's gonna work. Give me your opinions in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. All right, we're running a little low on time for this week's video. So what I decided to do, probably not gonna get this chimney installed in this video, but I'll have the materials and it'll be soon. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take that lumber that we milled in the beginning of this video and we're gonna see if we can put this floor in. Okay, so as we get this floor going, some of my boards are not perfectly straight and you'll see we've got a little gap right here. And we wanna close as much of that gap up as we can and I don't have enough lead in my butt to, to push that. So we're just gonna drive a screw right through this board. Into the floor and I should be able to bend that right back into place where it goes. And drive nails in there and she's right back where she needs to be Isn't Rustic supposed to be imperfect anyways? What's that? I said, isn't Rustic supposed to be imperfect anyways? It is, but that's the problem with me. I'm a perfectionist, so I try to get everything straight and square. If you're going for perfect, that's modern. We're not modern. When it don't work out exactly, I feel like it should. It bothers me, but you're right. The floor is going to be creaky. The floor is going to have gaps in it. It's not going to be perfect. I already know this wall is not perfect because I used rough saw lumber to frame it. Which means my, my floor is not going to look either. So let go of your picture perfect cabin. Right, 53, 3 8.